You, listen to me. You're the only one who can save me. Please, I beg you. I promise you. Everything you want. Everything you need. I can give it to you. You only need to accept my offer. Give me room in your mind. And you shall be the strongest of them all. Please, save me. Welcome back to the battlefield. My name is Newton Neutral, and we're back at this. Back at this with another episode of RimWorld. On the previous episode, a million successfully rescued Roly from the grasp of the evil, evil robots, I guess. Or robot, to say the least. He was alone. Kind of stupid, you know. Uh, meanwhile, Emilian was doing this, Kuno did her best to tend to the colonists, including the ones that aren't entirely believing into our ideology. Kuno is doing her best to change them. Anyways, that said, let's make this quite short. Don't forget to leave the video rating, subscribe for more of this content, and go grab yourself something to drink and uh, enjoy. It is nighttime. Everyone is sleeping, including those who are traveling. Uh, yeah, what are we doing this episode? Well, we're gonna do a few things. First things first, we're going to have to build this, because we're having a lot of colonists in here, and we need to have some proper bed space for them, because, you know, sleeping out in the cold like this doesn't really bother in the volley, but, you know, it would look nice to have this built. So what I'm going to start doing from this point on is just I'm going to, you know, put the walls down and uh, hopefully by the day they will start working on this. Oh, and while I was doing this, some sort of psychic wave has swept over the land. Our colonists are okay, but evil penguins. It shouldn't be an issue because we now have the turret set up. You circles are fighting each other. Wow, okay, well, congratulations, you just killed both penguins that are going to kill us. Major break risk, hi you. Okay, what's up? Why are you mad? Wanderer rejected, led by a volley. Unsightly environment, minor pain, diverse thought. Low psychic drone. Oh, right, there's been a psychic drone in the colony. Okay, that's gonna be bad, though, for Hayu. Psychic drone is ending. That's quite short for a psychic drone, but I'm not gonna complain. Um, by the way, why are they storing steel here? I know steel doesn't rot or anything, but I don't want steel to be in there. Leva started a social fight with Hayu. Why is Leva graphic over Hayu? Are they both in there? This is confusing. Let, let, let's just leave him at that. I've been requested by Starless Bandit to make a dedicated hospital and to assign one medic. Which could also be used to transfer a volley to your colony. So like, kind of like a mixed jail and hospital in like one area. I think we could do that. It would be a, like a rehab. Now the question is, I know this is going to be a barracks. I know I planned like having a hospital there, but that's not going to work. We have just too many colonists right now. Um, what we could do is possibly either build it in the bottom part here or the upper part here. I know I will eventually block this off, including this to have like more building zones because right now we're kind of like uh, it's kind of tight right now and I don't feel like building in the mountain yet nope not doing that just because it's uh, empire related a lost survivor named Jean-Luc is crashing in a transport pod nearby um, reject don't want to deal with this okay why is why was that red Charity refused. And you guys are fixing this, which was like a long time ago. Ah, uh, okay. 
Uh, mad caribou. Uh oh. Um, what? Uh, where is the caribou? A group of travelers are uh, passing by from the Dynasty's Gorg or whatever. I don't remember the name correctly. I couldn't read it fast enough because Zekiel is now running away while trying to hunt down this freaking moose. Or what is it, a caribou? It's not a moose. It's a caribou. All right, just go there. This is still not being built because for some reason they want to build this out of jade. All right, there you go. Oh, it's a two-shotter, too. There you go. Wasn't that hard, right? Shoot Frenzy. Rolly has an inspiration. Nice. Rolly also has a really interesting weapon. It's like a... It's a minigun of some sort. A charged minigun? I don't know how powerful that is. Why is this not connected? Beavers? Oh, for crying out loud, the, of all the things that we needed right now, beavers. Oh, the caravan has arrived. Nice, 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 nice. All right, everyone is back. Uh, now, I need to fix this one issue. And now that a million is back, Eleva is going to give her weapon out. So, drop that. A million equip. Come on, little feather duster. There you go. And Leva is going to take your weapon. There you go. Emilian now has his signature weapon. Which is completely okay by me. Uh, an alpha beaver is going the revenge thing. I think it's more than one, though. They're gonna be fine. I believe they're gonna be fine. Okay, shoot the closest one. Come on, guys! Are you kidding me? Okay, Dusty, uh, take out this. There you go. Alright, go back and do your things. Uh, you're fine, right? Just bruises. <gasps> Come on, go over there! Go over here! Oh, jeez. That is bad. Oh, that's not good. Come on, shoot better than that! Wow, you're just shooting all over the place. You're freaking close, too. Okay, just run. Run the right way, not the wrong way. If you run the wrong way, you're gonna get eaten by the angry, angry beavers. I remember Angry Beavers being a show. I was like in my childhood. Holy, I've grown old. Kuno here has a uh, psy cast powers, but since we're not friendly towards the Empire and we're not rebels and we're hoping to God that we get quests to get her more power, I've installed some mods that could help speed things out. Um, some include also choosing uh, what we learn when Kuno uh, gets a level of psy cast, basically. Also, your psycho focus should be... Uh, let's leave it at 75, I think. Oh, no! Solar Flare! Okay, well, we can deal with this. Just our food situation is not going to change because it's frozen outside. Alpha Beaver, revenge! Well, too freaking bad. You're already down. All right, let's see what they have to trade here. Well, they didn't have much for sale, and we sold a foot. A wooden foot, to say the least, for $27. Also, why are you down? No host connected. Oh, because of the solar flare! <gasps> that would be terrible to have, like, robots. Rescuing them will increase our relationship with the faction here. And robots are, like... Not really anything you need to do to, like, take care of them. <laughs> if our lives depended on your marksmanship, Holly, we'd all be dead by now. But he has 10 shooting! And you have zero! Also, animal uh, named Cha-Cha is cr crashing in a pod. And it's a freaking... What the heck is that? So, Roko, can you uh, do this real quick, please? Let's cancel these two after that. All right, solar flare is done. 
Uh, Sizisk, who you rescue, is now a guest, and he will stay for a few more hours. All right, this will be uh, your guest bed now. So uh, let's just make it so we're uh, going to entertain and create friendship. Oh, Dusty's taking care of our little Cha-Cha here. Maybe Cha-Cha will join us. If it doesn't, then we'll, uh, you know, have to take care of business. We have enough corn to make kibble. Why can't you make kibble? Why are you being so dumb? Why? Why are you being so dumb? Need material. I, I don't understand anymore. I don't understand this. Okay, I need to uh, suspend this. There we go. They're freaking finally doing it because they finally noticed that... What are you doing with the corn? What are you doing with the corn? You stupid feather duster. That's 50 pieces of corn. You're giving it a meal. You're giving it... <laughs> a million was about to give it 50 corn. Where is your corn? Where is the corn? Drop the fuck corn. Okay, Snow's working on that. Kuno, could you uh, haul the corn, please? Can you finish hauling the corn, please? Thank you. Uh, Kuno, could you also haul this kibble? A prisoner being held by the anti-Zeno initiates has managed to steal a radio and call you. Kali is being held at a camp at Hatched Horizon under armed guards. Will Emilian really want to go rescue her? I think so. All right. Let's let's make a caravan. We we got a we got a former caravan. All right. Um, I'm sending Emilian, Hayu, um, Rauko, and Snow to rescue Kali. I think that would be enough people to rescue her. Um. Visitor. A former felon from the Oracle's Pathfinder is visiting the colony. His name Nahani Ice Smooth. And a volley. Visitor. Caffeine. Do you by any chance have some coffee on you? Not really, you have some packaged survival meal. Sergo Ceramic Avali. I like the name of that. Sergo Ceramic Avali. Okay, I, I guess Jean-Luc is dying of uh, malnutrition before Gakol gets him. Poor Sergal. That, that's kind of a terrible way to go. But hey, we're not going to think about that. We're going to think about our own first. <laughs> a bit careless, but that's how our col that, that's the ideology of our colony here. Uh, I'm going to deconstruct these just to get some more steel. Spring has finally begun. Uh, which means that very, very soon we should be able to start making some more crops. The world would be a better place without you, Dusty. Oh, Rolly, why would you say such a thing? Yeah, why would you say... Why is everybody mean to Dusty? No wonder Dusty drinks. Mm. Quest available. The Revered Relic. You've learned that a relic of Avali Hegemony is nearby. The Oracle Scriptures is an ancient object venerated by all Avalis. Could collect it, you could build a great reliquary to make Havali's happy, attract wealthy pilgrims, and bring more people to Havali hegemony. First, you need to find the Oracle Scripture. Uh, we can accept it. Do we have a time to accept it? I guess not. Uh, we could do it, but we're gonna wait till the um, colonists are back from uh, their uh, little uh, escapade, I guess you could say. All right, our little barracks is completely built. It's a little dirty, but uh, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix it fairly soon, I think. Uh, let's... Let us mine this out. Apparently, the uh, insects are attacking immediately. Uh, we got a few of them, which is quite concerning. That's... Eh, not so bad. I think we can deal with this. Oh, look at this weapon. Holy, okay. Man, that minigun is whoa, a little bit too uh, excessive in my taste. Holy. 
Okay, they're coming around the corner here. I'm going to reconnect these. We're going to ask everyone to come here except for Dusty. Dusty, take care of yourself, please. Good job, Leva. Looks like Kuno, Leva, and the turrets are doing a good job here. There we go. Good job! Now everyone can go back and do their things. I'm gonna reconnect these so we don't use power for no reason. Exotic goods from the Mongadi Mongadin dynasty is approaching. Exotic goods trader. I might check out what they have for sale. Okay, you won't believe this, but the moth is ours now. <laughs> That's quite awesome. Um, I'm gonna put a bed there, and uh, we're, we're gonna name them, I guess. Not not right now, but we also got our auto cleaner. Freaking awesome! Now, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, we can decide uh, which area the auto cleaner can take care of. Oh, we got a gift from the Oracle's Pipe Finder, a uranium knife, and a pestle. Thank you, Tempest. Jeez! Okay, game. Secret complex robbing. You've learned of an ancient complex nearby that is said that contains ancient treasure. Hmm. This is, like, permanent, I think. Uh, let's see how far it is. It's really not that far. I don't want to do it yet. I want to wait till our caravan is back. And speaking of caravan, how far are they? Oh, we are just right in the blink of doing this. Okay, uh, wow. It is time. Alright, it seems that Emilian is not having it right now. He's already shooting. Uh, where is their mortar? Right behind the wall there. How far can Emilian shoot is the question. We can shoot the battery, but we... Oh, we also have that as an issue. Alright, I'm gonna ask a million to take care of that right now. Um, the others will need to focus on something. How are their defense, though? This... Oh, if we go out of the range, we're fine. We don't want them to use their mortars. Okay, they missed. And we're being shot at. Okay, uh, Emilian, can you shoot at that? Yeah, you can. Okay, they're attacking our colonists. I want Snow to start moving by. Roko, I want you to go behind. How you next, Emilian? There you go. Wrong decision, you did there. Oh, our sand battle rifle seems to be a really good weapon. Oh boy, an otter has become self-tamed. Great. There we go, so that's number one. The million's gonna back off a little bit here. And there we go, the turret should turn off. There we go. Um, now, this whole section is out of power, but there's still the bottom part here. We can move out and start attacking Pato here. Emilian's gonna reposition himself up here. Uh, the turret's range is... oh, enough for this. Emilian's gonna have to reposition somewhere safe, which is like next to the tree here, and you're not going that way, silly. Okay, Hayu and Roko are firing. And he's dead. Okay, we're gonna keep that. A million, you're going to go here. Okay, so this is completely offline. Now, something is feeding this. These turrets, at least. Uh, can we shoot with this? No, we can't. Okay, um, we're gonna need to find, like, a way to do this. Uh, you three come around the corner here. Try not to get shot. A million's gonna move out, uh, this way. Yeah, this one is trying to shoot us. 
Okay, can both of you go around the corner here? Like that? The million will support fire here. That is a very dangerous game right now. Okay, so that's one gone. Kimmy Million has decided to start shooting. We're gonna move around here. Snow's gonna move around the corner there. Okay, now we have cleared the area. We're gonna claim this. We're gonna open the door. And we freed Kali. She's joined a group. Nice. All right, so Emilian's ex-wife named Kali. All right, you guys take care of the little needs here for now. Uh, we're gonna make sure that this is not for prisoners. Uh, Kali is apparently cloud watching. We still need to raid the this area, so uh, let's let's go down there and check what's up. We can claim it and then open it. Hayu is apparently repairing it. All right, we have some unfinished components in here, and there is absolutely nothing in there. I think we're just gonna reform the caravan and call it a day here. All right, we're going to head back home. Our caravan is being built. Uh, meanwhile, I haven't checked this area at all, and uh, we're going to have to have another animal, apparently, here. Uh, let's see. Uh, come on, set owner. All right, it's name time. All right, our first animal's name is uh, uh, Voidling, a name coming from Aaron. Apparently, that's the second time I get a game from Aaron, but that's the last one. So there you go, Aaron. Our name for our moth is Voidling. And for our otter here, we're gonna name it Lily, which is a name that came from Codename Jekyll on Discord. And that concludes our episode of Rimworlds. Yes, we've rescued Emilian's ex-wife, Kali. And what will happen in the future might be a lot of shenanigans when it comes to those two. Anyways, as per usual, leave the video rating, subscribe for more of this content, and hopefully I'll see you on the next episode. Newton Neutral.